stand for that salvation, please stand up and have that salvation now. Anyway, you are online, radio, television, anywhere, Facebook. Just raise up that hand and stand up and say, Lord, here am I. I want your salvation. We're praying now at the end when you hear that final image. Just believe because God cannot fail. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your power. Thank you because it is not your will that anybody should perish in sin. You promised salvation. You provided salvation through Christ. And these ones indicating their desire for salvation, they turn away from their sins and they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ who has taken our sins away. We are asking, Lord, forgive them now in Jesus' name. Grant them your free and full salvation from sin in Jesus' name. Grant everyone the grace to begin to live as new creatures in Christ. We believe, Lord. We accept, Lord. We rely totally upon you and not our feeling. And we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord that the prayer for salvation and God always answers. Keep on standing and our counselors will come there to attend to you. I will call on the overseer to help us during this time. Then, after we finish this session, I'll come back. Your healing has been guaranteed by the Lord himself. The greatest blessing of salvation has been released. Make sure that you write your name as the counselors are coming to you. Give proper particulars. You do yourself good if you give the right information to them. By the grace of God, we are here to help you, to assist you, to be able to find your faith in Christ. Be sincere with what you are doing. Let's move around and make sure that we take the particulars of all the people who have decided to give their lives to the Lord. Wherever you are, be sure that if you have decided to receive the card, write your name, and also the name you are used to be called or called in the house so that we are able to assist you. Yes, sir. If there is anything common or popular around that area, you can mention it so that you can be located. Zacchaeus had his own. Zacchaeus. By the grace of God, he held on to it. Now he's in a better place. 
as you have got your own, hold it fast. And the best way you can hold it fast is for people who have gone through that salvation, passed through that way, to help you to be able to stand fast for the Lord. And that is what we are doing to help you, to assist you, to support you. Years will come and years will go. You will still be standing for the Lord in your salvation. And when you finish your life on earth, you go to a better eternity. Put down your particulars and make sure that you are sincere with all what you are doing. By the grace of God, tomorrow by 2 p.m., that's what we call lunch hour with Jesus. We want to see you here, all those who have decided tonight. And we'll be in the pavilions around that time. We will take time to help you. Take time to assist you. I remember in my own case when I gave my life to Christ, the preacher who preached to me traveled from Kumasi town to Kwadaso Agri College. And he was teaching us and helping us. At that time, I didn't know the full uh, benefit of what he was doing. But by the grace of God, since we followed and obeyed, we, here we stand for more than 40 years. We are still standing for the Lord. And that's what we want to do to assist you. Write your name and all the particulars. And our brothers and sisters who are assisting, if you finish, please let us know. Now, you, we want you to take note of these numbers so that you can call for assistance. Internationally, we have a number you can write down, plus 234 91 Five, four, 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 three, fours. Nine, two, six, three. Plus two, three, four. Nine, one, five, four. Four, four, nine, two, six, three. So globally, wherever you are, you can write that number to get to our international headquarters. And those of us at the Alpha location, this is the number for GCK Secretariat in Accra here at Enya, 055 055-245-1955. 055-245-1955. One nine five five. If you want any assistance, you can call those numbers and you'll be helped. So you make us to know the ushers, the full of brethren. Let's know if you are true with the particulars we are taking.
Don't go away. Very soon, our convener will come to pray for heaven's blessings of healing and deliverance and all the blessings you are looking for, the Lord will release them upon you. So those who are in the business, let us know if you are true. Don't forget the lunch hour with Jesus tomorrow, 2 p.m. You will come here, sit under the pavilions. People will come to you to help you to be able to understand the decision you have taken today. Within this period of the crusade, we are here for you. And uh, we want to give you the best so that you have a, the best of lives. And when you leave this way, you get to heaven the best place. Very soon, the message, I mean, the prayer for healing is coming. By the grace of God, as I've already told you, God has been using our convener in so many ways to bring down great and mighty miracles of healing, deliverance, blessings of all sorts to people who come to GCK programs and other programs. Now, whatever problem you brought here tonight, remove your faith from that problem, place your faith in Christ. And as the servant of the Lord is going to pray, God is going to answer. The anointing of God is upon his life. And it is the anointing that breaks the yoke. Your yoke of sin has already been broken. Your yoke of sickness, whether he likes it or not, is going to be broken tonight. Now, our Father and the Lord is coming. Let's stand up and meet him. <coughs> Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Miracle has arrived. Christ is there. And Christ has not changed. What he did before, he will do in your life. Your eyes are blind, get ready, they will see. Those years are dead, you are dumb, the Lord will touch you, you'll get your miracle. You are lame, on a wheelchair, lying on the ground, helpless, the power of the Lord will come to you there and raise you up. You need healing, deliverance, miracle, just raise up one hand. And lay the other hand on yourself. And Christ is there by your side. After the final amen, you check up. Behold, lo and behold, you see the miracle there. I can't say that she'll remain with them. 
so that as the miracles are taking place, you see, you bring them out. Let's pray now. Father, we bless your name. We glorify you because of who you are. Anywhere, anytime, in any generation, when people call upon your name, you always answer. And we're asking tonight to visit everyone with your miracle healing power in Jesus' name. You said, whosoever comes, you will in no wise cast out. And whatever we need, whatever de we desire, as we pray and believe, you said, we will receive. And I pray that that healing virtue, that healing power will come to everyone in need right now. Heal your people, deliver your people in Jesus' name. Whatever is wrong in the body from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, manifest your power. Take every evil thing away from everyone in Jesus' name. The spirit of insanity and madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Any other problem in the head, in the brain, oh Lord, touch your people now. Bring healing and deliverance to everyone. The water head, I pray, will come down to normal in Jesus' name. But eyesight, whether you see dimly or you cannot see at all, I pray that the power of the Lord will touch those eyes now. Be healed and see well in Jesus' name. Deafness and darkness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Swelling in the body, any part of the body, be removed, be healed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the issue of blood and the pile, everything, touch them now. Instantaneous miracle for everyone in Jesus' name. Ulcer, cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, HIV, be healed in Jesus' name. Any pain in any part of the body, the hand of the Lord touches you now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Arthritis, be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are lame, paralyzed in any way, you cannot rise, you cannot walk. The power of God comes upon your life now. You are healed in Jesus' name. Every manner of sickness, every kind of disease, the hand of the Lord is upon you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Confirmation in every life. <laughs> Performance of miracle in any life. Lord, manifest yourself now. To the left, to the right, at the back, in the center, anywhere. Let there be healing for everyone in Jesus' name. online, any nation, any country, anywhere, manifestation of healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Well, thank you because we know it is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen, amen, it is done. Check up yourself now. You see the miracle, the healing, the deliverance right there. Amen, it is done. The healing streams are flowing. The power of God has been released. Whatever sickness you brought here has bowed down to the healing power of God. Check yourself right now. You will see that the sickness is no more there. The problem is no more there. And just shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we will rejoice with you. Counselors, wherever you are, make sure that we are standing by those people who have received their healing and you bring them forward. Bring them forward. Bring them forward to testify of what the Lord has done. Yeah, it is happening. It is happening. It is happening. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. The power of God has been released. No sickness can defy God's power. Bring them out. Clap your hands and bring them out. Bring them out. The power has been released all over the place. On live, on satellite, on television, on radio, every place, the power of God has been released. Bring them out. 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 To testify to the power of God, the healing power of God. It is, it has happened. It has happened. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them to the front. Bring them to the front. The pastors are supposed to be around to verify the miracles so that they will have the chance to give testimony. All the overseers, please, you are expected to be at the front. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. All those who have received the touch of the Lord. Bring them out. Bring them out. Yes, it has happened again. All over. The power of God is at hand. You see the clutch is up. God's power has been released. God's power has been released. And no sickness, no demon can defy the power of God. Please verify the miracles and bring them to the front to give their testimonies. The orchestra, you can give us a song as the people are coming forward. Please bring them out. And the pastors too should verify the miracles. Very soon we go into testimonies. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All over. The power of God is at work. All over. The anointing is breaking yokes. The anointing is breaking yokes. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Give them the chance.
Jesus power superpower Counselors, if you are true, let the testimonies begin. Praise the Lord, clap for the Lord. Another one has happened over there. All over, all over, all over. Please let the testimonies begin, please. Praise the Lord. More clutches are up. The Lord is at work. The ground is charged already with healing power. The ground is charged with healing power. the testimonies begin. Yeah, God is still at work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am Dr. Louis Abadia, an internal medicine specialist with the Department of Medicine, Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Here with me is my brother, who, by the grace of God, after the prayer of the man of God, can speak. So I want him to, I want her mom, I want his mom to help. Give the testimony so we can help with the testimony. Start, please. Praise the Lord. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Praise the Lord. How are you? All right. Thank you. The dog has spoken. 
more testimonies. How long, uh, since when, was he not able to speak? So from childhood, he has never spoken. By the grace of God, after the prayer of the man of God, he can pray. He's 14 years now, by the grace of God. Wherever you are, check yourself. Your miracle is there. Come out and give testimony. Praise the Lord. With me here is my father. By the grace of God, he has been healed of stroke for the past two years. I want to invite him to speak or give his testimony. Praise the Lord. And um, the brother standing here is called Benson. For two years now, he has stroke. He could not, he could not walk without this stick I'm holding. But today, after the man of God had prayed, he walked from the back there without the stick to the front wow. here. Praise the Lord. Them. Please, can two you, years. Can you give a walk, two please. years. Walk, walk for us. Two years. That's walk it. For us. Praise that's the it. Lord. Praise and, the Lord. And he also said that he said that this is what has been killing his family members. This is what has been killing his family he's, members, he's and he's perfectly. free. Praise the Lord. My sister here, by the grace of God, has been suffering from stroke for the past 10 years. We can see that God has healed him hey, after the prayer of man of God. Pacho, you can give your testimony. Pacho, and tomorrow, I'm not me a for Nanka said, Sophon and say, Sophon, me a coffo, and see a while, and I'm a tow moon, and your friend may bra from a cra, your friend may bra, may bra bell, Kumasi. They say, Me moon, your men can't, because I may can't, I dear best, I dear betting, and tea, stroke, no, dear me, a coy, and now, tell me, you stroke, as praise the Lord, the stroke affected the right arm and the right leg. But now you can see she's able to walk, Pacho. Can you walk around? Praise the Lord. Another clutch is over there. Bring them out. Bring them out. It's happening. I said the power of God has been released. Miracles, signs and wonders. Okay, sir. Uh, now we want to take testimonies from the from online, please. Experiencing glorious visitation online. We're bringing this testimony from the GS official Facebook. Bro Munwa from Lagos was diagnosed with water in the lungs in August 2022. He has been having severe cough such that blood came out while coughing. He was placed on a six month medication. However, the cough stopped around September ending but he still experienced sharp pains in his chest. During the December GCK retreat, he said he received complete healing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We bring you testimony from what happened in February. This is from our sister. She was having a sudden pain on her side ribs and the pain moved to her neck. 
During the final prayer of the pastor, she laid her hands on the affected area of her body. And the last amen from our general superintendent, she received her healing. Praise the Lord. Also, as the power of God is moving, it's also doing great things online. This is a testimony from the YouTube page of the church. Samuel Adakwamula said he has been instantly healed of broken leg immediately after the prayer of the man of God, all the way from UAE. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our sister Deborah Oni had a toothache, and through the prayer of our general superintendent, the tooth pain is gone. Praise the Lord. Now we take you to Liverpool, UK, for a live testimony. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is uh, Brother Mariowa Ilesami. I worship at uh, Deeper Life Bible Church in Liverpool, in United Kingdom. Uh, I just want to share the testimony of what God did for me during the last GCK program. Uh, on the morning that the GCK program started, I started feeling very serious pain on my right hand, the right hand of my mouth and ears. And it was so difficult for me that I cannot even open my mouth. And to eat was very, very difficult. So I believed God. I trusted God. And lo and behold, before the end of the GCK program, I received my healing in Jesus' name. And I just want to give God the glory for that great miracle that God did for me. And I pray that every one of us that are believing God for a miracle during this GCK program. After the final amen, you will all receive your miracle in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate God for what he did for me during the Lume Crusade that was then titled Abundant Life in Christ. Uh, during that crusade, I received my healing, but I was not aware of it until after uh, about two weeks. And uh, it happened that I've been a glaucoma patient for nine years, and uh, I when I was diagnosed, I was using a drug called Timolog for two years, after which it was changed to a more potent drug on account of continual increase in the eye pressure, that's the intraocular pressure. And uh, I was on the other medication, Miso, for seven years until the Lume crusade. And uh, during that crusade, or rather, after that crusade, I had a very sharp eye pain that required me to visit the eye clinic for review. And during the course of the review, I was examined and I was asked to see my glaucoma, the glaucoma clinic I attend, that's on Wednesdays. So, in the course of the clinic, I was asked to do some investigations, which I did. I saw the glaucoma clinic with the result that they sent me to do. So I requested that I would like to have a chat with the specialist. And the specialist asked me to send all my investigation, which I photocopy, snap and send. So he reviewed the result and gave me a shocker. Then look, he checked my result and he observed that look, I don't have glaucoma. Praise the Lord. That I should stop all the drugs I was using for glaucoma. God did something spectacular. Because on that same I also I have cataract. I went for surgery on that cataract, but the glaucoma procedure was still pending. So on the Days of follow-up, 
I went from my district. And another specialist reviewed the eyes and told me that, look, you don't have glaucoma. And to go to the glory, it's almost four weeks now. I have not been on glaucoma medication. And the pressure was cheap and the pressure was low. And to cap my testimony, I've been using glasses for 11 years now. But now I no longer use glasses to go with the glow. And I don't use any glaucoma medication. And just this morning, before coming to share my testimony with you, I was able to pass a thread through a needle. This is a procedure that some of us that are both 40 will understand what I mean. And even when I was using my glasses, I could not pass through, I could not pass the thread through a needle. I want to appreciate God for what he has done. God has given me a new eyes. To him alone with the glory. Now we return back to the moderated overseer as we return with more testimony from the online. More testimonies. Praise the Lord. This is Jonas Ma, 51 years old, who has been suffering from stroke for the past 10 years. I would like to invite him to have the testimony said. Praise the Lord. We did the comfort for Sam. Brother, we did the Edna Hassan. What he asked for it, I cheat. At the time, we are a pastor of the event. On checking Praise your bodies. Praise the Lord. The man by my side lives around where the sister talking worship. And the house is just behind their church. One day she was led by the Holy Spirit to speak to the man. She has been down with stroke for the past 10 years. And she spoke to him about Jesus Christ. And she told the man told him that I wish I could go to church, but my wife would not allow. But she told the man before this program that there's a program coming on here, and so you should prepare and come. And the man said, my wife would not allow me. Then he spoke to the wife and told the wife that, should the husband be here, whatever the case be, the hand of God will touch him and he be whole. By the grace of God, the wife agreed and allowed the man to come here. And when they came, during the course of the message, he was beckoning to the man that he should listen to what the man of God is saying and also make sure that he follows with the faith. And during the prayer, he beckoned to him that follow the word of prayer and the word of faith. And by the grace of God, after the prayer, 10 years stroke that he could not walk anymore. He's now walking to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Check your bodies. You Check your bodies. Hand, you couldn't do anything, but now both hands can be lifted up. Thank the Lord. Check your bodies. Your right, miracle right. is there. More miracles. More testimonies. More testimonies. Hallelujah. And the friend is to the Rumbo. To the Rumbo, this is a round one count. I mean, yes, you know, Now, as you know, I'm here. A school. Into your shift. Into your night. That's what I'm here. You know, I'm here. 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 I forgot my question to Eric Cranny McGuire. Not my name is Shimmy. Not to stay. Not my name from by no one says, not friend, Mary. May you know my own friend, no my family. No friend, I'm here by the family. Three good years. Mintuna said that. Miss up into me, Maso. Mintuna was here. Mother Dema, my last one, under the name Jan, was she saw. Why can't it? Why are you all grown? Wajuno <laughs> Mr. Wong, I know you Minanzo. baby. I've been Mr. Wong, Mr. Kosoro. Me, I'm Mr. Wong, Minanzo. Mr. Apman, I told my sister, my auntie, my auntie, Abah, Hallelujah. Mr. Imiashi, Mr. Mr. Mepi, I've been Sakura. Amen. Praise the Lord. The man's name is Joseph Donko. He worked at private school. A time came one day, he came from school, and before he realized he could not do anything, he was done with stroke. He has suffered this problem for long, and as he, for the past three years, three years, he has never worked. He couldn't lift the hand, neither the legs. But he was invited to this program. In the course of the prayers, by the grace of God, she, he felt some signs in the body. All that he could not do now, by the grace of God, he's able to do everything. By himself. Praise the Lord. The daughter the is God. standing by him. Not him here. Papa, not him here. For my own coffee view. For my own coffee view. More testimonies. Orchestra, you can give us a break. Testimonies, please. We have some more testimonies from here. The next testifier is our sister Mary Adama Lamti. Let's listen to her testimony. Praise the Lord. God has done it again, though. 
I was having this severe pain at the left side of my breast, under my breast, very unbearable for the past two weeks. I went to Trust Hospital, I was examined, I was given medication, still the pain persists. So just this morning, I went there again, I was even asked to do a scan. And according to this scan, there is a, a liver cyst. So when my expectation of coming here was that I am coming to receive my miracle. And indeed, when, as, as the pain was there, when I'm sitting, I find it difficult. I cannot sit comfortably like this unless I hold the chair slowly. But as at now, I can sit without any support and I'm healed. Was the last amen. My healing came with the last amen when the man of God declared. I thank God so much for healing me. And I know there are other three love that they said I should come for it on Monday. And I know the results will be the one that will glorify God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The last amen is power inside. Amen. Esther, Please, Esther orchestra. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Tali Esther. I was once in Nigeria with my mother. When we came back to Ghana, my mother fell. My, my mother died, and later I went to my grandmother's place. When staying that place, it's very difficult for me to go to deeper life. Because I was going to deeper life in Nigeria when I was in, right from my child of my womb. So when I came back to Ghana, anytime I roll my phone, interviewing on my phone, Pastor W.F. Kumui, when I saw him, I'm very happy because I know this man of God is the man of miracle. So that was yesterday. When I was selling, the madman was running after me with a stick. Ah, what is wrong? When I was running, I fell down. This is my hand and my leg also. I can't even raise my hand. So when the man of God was praying, I said, no, I'll come. So my husband, I left the market with my husband. I didn't bath. I washed my leg with my child and I came. When the mom of God was praying, I received the miracle. I can raise my hand. I was happy. Praise the Lord that the man of God has healed me. I was happy because when I went to Ayobo, Bagada, when I came here and I said, no, I have to come here because in Bagada, I didn't come before coming to Ghana. So I'm happy. Praise the Lord. Her sister had what we call most close collector pains from from yeah, trauma yeah. she felt. Yes, sir. On the deeper life, that's so much. Now, so on free Nigeria, back Ghana, and also the way every day. Now, so this is a move, or yes, so baby, the attorney said, "Nra, or third year, or when I'm for being good, so or for form say sim, not feeling sad, or to be a pain that any shame." And see, one point, one point, I said, "I'm here, but on the deeper better actually." And by one cry, we are in Sanwa and Rob Paul from our wife, we are Masono, or Yakopo Adamo and our master. Amen. Our next testifier is Mary Akairi. You will listen to her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are serving a living God. Um, my testimony is this. I have a stomach ache, and it has been doing that from my navel side. So one day I asked my mom, how, why is it that my stomach has been paining me? He said, when they gave birth to me, my grandfather was a herbalist. So he gave me some of the herbs to take. That maybe is that one that is affecting me. So before we would come here, I had a severe stomach pain. My abdomen was always like this. I couldn't walk very well. When, when we came just this evening, when the man of God was praying, I could talk very well. I was standing just by this side. I was praying, 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 and he said we should lay our hand. I laid my hand here. Then finally my stomach, something like run from my stomach and just came and choked my throat. 
I was not able to talk again. My, my, my throat ceased from talking. Then when the man of God was praying from the final prayer, and I vomit, I don't know, I vomit things out and praise God, I'm healed now. My stomach is free, my abdomen is free, my voice is back. I say thank God for that. I thank the living, of, living God for healing me. Amen. Yenia Esther. I say, you are a man. 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 You are a Amen. Keep on checking your body. Your miracle is there. Praise the Lord. Our testifier is called Madam Ya Asum, 55 years old. Please give your testimony. Praise the Lord. Ephraim Ya Asum, if you don't have me free, by being earlier. Now, Babu Sumin Sien, my betty mint to me, Pajamin San Cosro. I fear nay a bayano. Ye ya, the bomb piano, black pasta bomb pie a child to honor. May the memo, my mu who said, Mansano, no, all bona ya, 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 ya. I fear, pie and the quarry or can't say, and amen, amen, a man, son, my timia pajak or stro, maybe about form, and son in your eye, and you will be, I mean to me, yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Our Praise sister from B. He comes here with a very sharp pain on the right, unable to lift it up. After the final prayer, our sister is healed. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Joel. Joel, you can give your testimony. Please. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, I thank God very much. I've been suffering from severe headache. This headache is too much. I feel like there's something on top of my head. For over four years, I've been going to hospitals, buying drugs, but to no avail. Examination, when it's time for examination, this headache will come, and I can't write the exams. But right now, as the pastor prayed, I felt something left, like some, something I've been lifted from me. And I feel so free. So I said, no, I have to give thanks to God. I feel healed. So thanks to God. Amen. We will end the testimonies here by the grace of God tomorrow. We will continue. But before we pray the final prayer, let him introduce some few dignitaries that came. Uh, Godwin Tito Aj, Reverend Doctor, is the General Assistant Superintendent of Assemblies of God, Ghana. You are welcome, sir. We have General Brigadier Kusi retired for is the founder and leader of United Nation in Cote d'Ivoire. You are welcome, sir. Brigadier General Benjamin Kusi retired, former Deputy Force Commander, United Nations Mission in Cote d'Ivoire. You are welcome, sir. At this point, we want to stand up and Lift up our voices and praise the Lord for the great Sorry. and mighty things it's He has done for us. Please remember tomorrow the time is 4 p.m. Invite others, call many people to come to receive their blessings. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. at Royal Chapel. 
There's going to be ministers, church workers, professionals conference. Let's stand up, please, and praise the name of the Lord. Let's worship the Lord for all what he has done for us. The salvation he has granted, the healings and deliverances, wonderful miracles we have received. Praise the name of the Lord for that. Let's pray that the Lord will renew the strength of our Father in the Lord. And tomorrow, by the grace of God, more blessings will flow into our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. A great God in heaven, we are very much grateful unto you for what you have done for us for the start of the program. Thank you for the salvation you have granted to many people who responded. Thank you for healing sicknesses and diseases and doing great miracles in the lives of your people. I'm praying that all these miracles will be permanent in everyone's life in Jesus' name. Even as you are leaving your presence this night, your power will not leave us. The miracles will continue. And wherever we are, you are there. Multiply your miracles upon our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you protect your people and lead everybody safely to their destinations in Jesus' name. We pray for more grace, more strength, more power, more anointing upon your servant in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. This is Ghana, the home of the Black Star, freedom, and justice. God bless our homeland, she sings, and with the strength of a father, the love of a mother energy of the youth she welcomes the glorious visitation of christ and now it's time for ghana to host the power christ is visiting the world is expecting ghana is ready are you the black star freedom and justice god bless our homeland she sings and with the strength of a father the love of a mother energy of the youth she welcomes the glorious visitation of christ and now it's time for ghana to host the power christ is visiting the world is expecting. Ghana is ready. Are you?
Shake Ghana again with another amen. Shake Africa again with another amen. And shake the world again with another amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to stand up to pray. We're going to pray to the Almighty God. And tonight, after this prayer, I said, after this prayer, I said, after this prayer, after this prayer, wonderful things are going to take place. Mighty things are going to take place. Greater works are going to take place. We're going to see the unprecedented in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we want to thank the Lord for his mercies we want we want to bless the name of the Lord for his grace and we want to thank the Lord for his presence presence here tonight we believe the Lord is here tonight begin to thank the Lord Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to praise the name of the Lord. What a day we have. What a day we have. What a blessed day we have. What a glorious day we have. What a mighty day we have. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's exalt the name of the Lord. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Forgiving us this day. Forgiving us this day. Forgiving us this day. Because it is a special day. Because it's a glorious day. The day of God's visitation. The day of God's visitation. Hallelujah. In Psalm 86. Psalm 86, verse 8. Among the God, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. Verse 9 says, All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship and worship before thee. O Lord, and thou shalt be glorified. I want you to pray that we are here to worship the Lord. We are here to worship the Lord. We are here to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. Bow down before him. Love and adore him. We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. We have come to worship the Lord. Bow down before him. Love and adore him. We have come to worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the presence of the Lord. Worship the almighty God. Tonight he deserves our worship. He deserves our praise. He deserves our praise. Let me hear your voice. Let me hear your voice. Let me hear hear your voice. Let the world hear you are here. Let heavens hear we are here. Let the angels hear we are here. Let the heavens hear we are here. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's exalt the name of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today the men will rejoice. Today the women will rejoice. Today the ministers will rejoice. Today the young will rejoice. 
Today the old will rejoice. And today heavens will rejoice. Tonight Ghana will rejoice. Africa will rejoice. I'm telling you the whole world will rejoice. There's going to be joy in heaven. There's going to be joy on earth. There's going to be joy in the country. There's going to be joy everywhere. A pandemonium of joy. A pandemonium of joy. A tender of joy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying to thank God for the journey message. Journey message from all the people who are here. And those who are on the way coming. We want to thank God for the arrival of our general superintendent. We want to thank God for the arrival of all the people coming from other countries here. We want to thank God for the preparation for this GCK. We want to thank God for all the preparations that have gone on. We want to thank God for the, for the commitment of the brethren. We want to thank God for the cooperation and the partnership of all the churches in Ghana. We want to thank God for the men of God. We want to thank God for the women of God. We want to thank God for all the deeper life churches in the country. And all the ecumenical bodies in the country. It has been a wonderful time. It has been a wonderful time. And that is why we want to bless the Lord. And that is why we want to bless the Lord. That is why we are praising the Lord. That is why we are exalting his name. That is why we are exalting his name. That is why we are blessing him. We want to thank the Lord for his promise. We want to thank the Lord for his promise. He said, this day have I begotten you. This day have I begotten you. That is the promise of the Lord. The promise of the Lord says, Fear thou not, for I am with you. We want to thank God for his promise. The promise of the Lord is those who come to him, he will save them. And that is why we want to thank the Lord. Because tonight there will be salvation here. The promises of the Lord will be here and aiming here tonight. As you are praying, the promises of the Lord are coming to pass. The promises of the Lord. We want to thank God for his power. We want to thank God for his power. His omnipotent power. His glorious power. His mighty power. His wonderful power. We want to thank God for his power. The power of God to save. The power of God to deliver. The power of God to set free. The power of God to elevate. The power of God to do wonders. Brethren, tonight let me hear your loudest prayers. Let thank God for his power. Let thank God for his power. I can tell you, there is no limit of God's power. When are the right sea? There is no limit of, uh, to God's power. Let thank God for his power. Let thank God for his goodness. Let thank God for his goodness. Oh, God is good all the time. God is good all the time. He's good to me. He's good to you. He's good to the church. He's good to the churches. He's good to Ghana. He's good to Africa. God is good to the world. Oh, what a mighty God we have. What a glorious God we have. What a powerful God we have. What a blessed Lord we have. Let's thank the Lord for his mercies and his love. For God so loved the world. Let's thank God for his love for us. It is as a result of God's love. That is why we are here. 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 We bless God for his love. And we thank God for his greatness. The greatness of God. The greatness of God, the greatness of God transcends all the greatness of mankind. God is great. God is great. And that is why we are here. And that is why we are here. And all these 
days we're going to spend here, the greatness of God will be manifested here. Will be manifested here. Let's thank God for his grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Another one. In Jesus' name we pray. Another GCK, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray a certain kind of prayers now. We are going to pray. Are you ready to pray? That the spirit of God will descend here. I said the spirit of God will descend here. That the Holy Spirit promised by Jesus will descend here once again. Open your mouth and begin to pray. As the spirit of the living God saturate this place. Saturate this place. Saturate this place. On my right. On my right. On my left. At the back. At the front. In the middle. 360 degrees. All over the place. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Come and take over this place. Come and take over this place. Let me hear you pray. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wherever you are. On the television there. If you are watching a television anywhere. If you are on social media. This is the time to pray. Pray down the spirit of God. Pray down the spirit of God. Over here at the Alpha location. Over here at the Alpha location. The spirit of God will be mighty here. Over there where you are. Over there where you are. In your church where you are. In your house where you are. By your television there. By your radio there. On social media there. Spirit of the living God. 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 Come upon your people. Come and take over the program. From today till Tuesday. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. From today. From tonight. Up to Tuesday. A sight to behold. Wonderful things to behold. Because of the presence of the spirit of God. Because of the presence of the Spirit of God. Let's pray down the Spirit. Holy Ghost, come down once again. Spirit of the living God, come down once again. And take over the whole program. And take over the whole program. And take over the whole program. We are praying for unprecedented conversions. Unprecedented conversions. All over Africa. All over the world. Unprecedented conversion. Anybody, anywhere. Anybody, any country. Anybody, any city. Anybody, any town. Anybody, any village. Those on the street. Wherever they are. Just like the time of old. And the program is going on here. The spirit of God will be hitting them. The spirit of God will be converting them. Conversions on the streets. Conversions in the vehicles. Conversions everywhere. Conversions in the churches. Conversions in the nations. Conversions in the countries. Even now the work of the word of God is going on. There will be unprecedented conversions. The word is unprecedented conversions. Conversions we have never seen before. Conversions we have never heard before. That is what is going to take place. Right here, this, this GCK version. Unprecedented conversion. Men and women will turn to the Lord. I say men and women will turn to the Lord. Children will turn to the Lord. The young will turn to the Lord. The old will turn to the Lord. The low will turn to the Lord. The high place will turn to the Lord. Churches will turn to the Lord. Men will turn to the Lord. Women will turn to the Lord. Unprecedented conversions. Unprecedented conversions. And on this ground, 
unprecedented conversion. And we are praying that unprecedented deliverances and healing, unprecedented deliverance, unprecedented deliverance will begin to happen right here and everywhere. Wherever the word of God will go, we will hear it. We will see it. It will happen. It will happen. I said it will happen. It will happen. It will happen. It will happen. This is our day. This is our time. This is our day. This is our time. It must not pass us by. It must not pass us by. It must not pass us by. This is our time. This is our day. It must not pass us by. It must not pass us by. Unprecedented healing. Unprecedented deliverances. That is what we're going to see. Unprecedented power. Unprecedented demonstration of God's power. I want us to pray that this version of GCK, we will see, we will experience unprecedented demonstration of God's mighty power. Unprecedented demonstration of God's mighty power. Even here, where you are, on the television there, online, everywhere in this nation, outside this nation, everywhere in the world, unprecedented, unprecedented. And if you can hear me far away, and even if you are in your house, and you can see me, and you can hear us, this is the time to run here. This is the time to run here. Because what is happening here, it is a sight to behold. It is a sight to behold. It is a sight to behold. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my elect, in whom my soul delighted, I have put my spirit upon him. Let somebody say amen. amen. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Hallelujah. And so we are going to pray for the man of God. Everybody say the man of God. The man of God. We are going to pray for the man of God. The Lord has promised here already. Behold my servant, whom I, I uphold, my elect, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. And we are praying tonight for the general superintendent. And we are praying tonight for the convener of GCK. And we are praying tonight for Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. That the spirit of the, of the almighty God will rest upon him. Will rest upon him. Let me hear your loudest prayer. Let me hear your loudest prayer. Let me hear your loudest prayer. The Lord pour your power more than ever, more than before. Put your spirit in him. Put your spirit in him. Use him. Use him. Use him. Use him. Over here, use him. At the minister's conference, use him. At the Impact Academy, use him. Today, Thursday, use him. Friday, use him. Saturday, use him. Sunday, use him. Monday, use him. Tuesday, use him. And by the time we leave here, oh, wonderful. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for our, our father. Let's pray for our father. That the hand of the Lord will be upon him. The hand of the Lord will be upon him. The spirit of the Lord will be mighty upon him. And the Lord will use him in a way we have never seen before. The strength of the Lord will be upon him. 
All the graces of God will envelop him. And the spirit of the living God will envelop him. The Lord will use our Father in the Lord beyond expectation. The spirit of the Lord will be mighty upon him. His words, his preaching, his prayers will be full of power. 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 And it will start tonight. 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 It will start tonight. That Lord use him. More strength. More power. More grace. More anointing. More anointing. More demonstration of the gifts of the Spirit. And tonight, beyond expectation, the Lord will use him. The Lord will use him. The Lord will use him. In the name of Jesus, you are here with high level of expectation. And I believe tonight, your expectation will never be aborted. I say your expectation will never be aborted. Your expectations will be met. Your expectations will be met. And if you are watching us on social media, and you are listening on the radio, and you are, you are watching television anywhere, and you are in any country in the world, you are in Africa everywhere, and you are in Ghana here, listen here, listen to us here, your expectations will be met. Your expectations will be met. I want her to pray that all attendees of GCK Ghana version, everybody's expectations will be met. I want you to raise your voices on high and say, Lord, 